You know what's weird about everything that's going on? Yeah. Black Earl lost his S in here. He just lost his mind during commercials. He lost his F in mind. He came in. He grabbed our uh, big rolling cart that we used to carry the stuff from the office into the studio. It's full of uh, CDs and tapes and whatnot. And, and just grabbed it and started shaking it up and down. It looked like the old Samsonite commercial where... <laughs> What? I'm just saying the way he was abusing the uh, piece of equipment. He yeah. ripped the thing out of the, the whole... He ripped the top part out of the car. It came Look, flying out. Everything went flying. It's all in disarray. I would love to know what he was actually so upset about. Why don't we get uh, Black Earl in here and see why he's so upset? I think we all know, but it's always fun when he tries to explain himself. <laughs> he's got some rage. I'll tell you one thing about Earl, though. Yeah. He's like a cockroach during a, uh, a nuclear blast. You know oh, they, yeah. You know how they say cockroaches roaches would, would, would survive a nuclear uh, fallout? Yeah. That's Earl. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I would love to know how many guys he has seen come through these doors. Yeah. Since well, he started at WWE. Come, come and go. They come and go. <sighs> uh, Jason, what's going on? Here hey, comes what's up, Earl. guys? Hey, Jason. I said the only good thing about the Dick Clark's Rock and Eve thing was all the uh, we like Dick and uh, I want Dick signs all up there. <laughs> we want Dick? That's all you would see is we like Dick and we want Dick. All right, Jason. Thank Take you. Take it easy. Bye. The old Dick joke. Always a treat. Look who's in the studio. Uh, Black Earl. Earl? Yes. You were very upset during the commercials. And we didn't know what happened. All of a sudden you came in and I start hearing this banging and, and, and the, our, our machinery and everything being... Thrown around. And we like, all what the hell? What happened? We all understand why you would be upset, but uh, you want to express yourself live on the air today? Um. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. That's good. So no. Well, let, uh, let no. <laughs> what happened? They didn't, they didn't pick up the uh, Black Rock Coalition show? <laughs> is that what it is? That would get me mad. Sunday nights. Sunday nights. Now, what are they, uh, what, are they what, what, what has you in a tizzy? We're all venting here. No, it's just... Everything. <laughs> yeah. Well, say something. What what got you to where you picked up the, the rack there and just started going crazy on it? What like just a little frustrated, that's all. Yeah, but there's gotta be something what are what are the things? You're allowed to vent. Yeah, just the whole situation. <laughs> Could you be any more vague? No, no, I'm, you know, just, this is how he keeps his so job though. <laughs> See? You're right. We should learn from Earl. You are so right. This is what we should do. We should learn from Earl. Okay. How, how could he possibly ever get fired if he doesn't, you know, say anything? <laughs> we always say something stupid that, you know, gets us almost fired. It's vague Earl. Earl. It's Earl. It's vague Earl. Earl. <laughs> All right, Earl. Uh, Come in. Give us a little more. Uh, I, without going into I'm I'm frustrated for the same reason you're frustrated. Hmm. All right. Okay. That's good. Hey, without... He's like a, the magic eight ball, <laughs> but not quite ready to commit. So, signs say... Earl should write horoscopes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Avoid things like... Right. Hmm. So some of the same things we're upset about. That there wasn't really... something that kicked you right before you picked that up and started going crazy on it? One thing? No. Not at all. Wow. No? Hey, Earl, I got a question for you. Why don't, why don't you wear any ice? <laughs> <laughs> Where's some of your bling bling, Earl? You need some bling bling. You saw that on that TV, too? <laughs> I learned about uh, the black community. I, I love to learn about the black community. I had no idea that, won't learn it from that the brothers, it's, it, it's, a, it's a, a status symbol, Anthony, to have some bling bling. Where's your bling bling? No bling bling? No bling Because usually when people wear all black like you do, uh, the gold chains and the bling bling looks all good. I hear some I of the bling know. bling, also known as ice, yeah. can cost uh, upwards of a quarter million dollars for That's one true. piece that hangs around your neck. I started a whole thing, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T. The bling bling. Mr. T had some bling bling bling. 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 So where's your bling bling? No bling bling. None whatsoever? Mm. No. All right. Oh, Earl, Black Earl's big psychic network. Earl, you feeling a little better now? Yeah. Would you like to turn at Sally the <laughs> effing slut masturbator? Uh, I'll pass. You sure? Yeah. There we go. Oh, we need someone to try out Sally the effing slut masturbator. 
<laughs> Earl, would you like to give it a try? No. It says, F this bitch hard. F this bitch hard. It also uh, says, C in my mouth. You want to try it out, Earl? I, 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 someone I, else don't, break it. I don't know. F my, F my tight A. You sure? The one that needs vague God, not it. Your vague. Ice cream guy it, is it even has instructions. Ram your big C here. <laughs> well, perhaps I might think about giving it somewhat of a try. So, Earl, you're just uh, bummed out about what's going on today. Yes. There you go. That was very good. You'll be bummed out. Call me now. What do you need? Back in his uh, little cubicle, he's got the incense burning and the smoke. <laughs> Call me, girl, psychic hotline. Happy New Year, guys. You have to be keeping your eyes to yourself. <laughs> Call me now. <laughs> Man. All right, well, we got absolutely no information out of Earl why he's pissed. He was pissed enough to pick that up and, and throw it around, yet he really can't convey to us what is pissing him off. But, Ant, we should learn from him. Man, when we're in that big meeting, if we acted like him, I think we'd be styling right now. Probably be VP or something. <laughs> Earl's going to work his way right up the corporate ladder. We'll Sir call him not. Black Rock Earl. <laughs> for the big CBS uh, corporate building. <laughs> All right, Earl. It's good to see your face. Your man ain't no good. Girl, you got to get away from him. Earl, are you... I'm on? looking, I see the teacup card. He's in prison, is he? <laughs> Call me now. I hate that bitch. Earl, are you, are you eyeing any of the uh, open offices? No. Okay. Mm. A lot of open offices today. We need... Uh, He's cheating on you, girl. We need, uh, we need Earl's cubicle out of the way so we can blow the uh, wall out. I got to tell you. You know what I got in the back of my SUV? Mm. Downstairs right now. A full-size foosball table. <laughs> I can't put it where I move. The neighbors downstairs would go crazy. Whack, whack. But I, I want to set it up in our office or something, but now we need a bigger office. Set it up. I've been taking stuff out of our office. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Dude, why do you think it's still in the back of my truck and not brought upstairs? <laughs> I'm driving around every time I step on the brake, ten foosballs go clunk into the front of the thing. I take off and go clunk into the back. I want to bring it up, but I'm not sure I'll be loading it back in the freight elevator in a couple of days. Look at my drawers. There is nothing in my drawers. I'm seeing problems with your show. <laughs> Call me now. Earl, you don't have to worry, man. You will be here when radio is something that people receive directly in their head as they walk. The new tuner. They'll just be right in place in a chip in your head, and Earl will be, be here. Earl Earl will be old. And... Yeah. Let me tell you about no old days. Right. I'm going to tell you, they call me Black Earl. I remember when the well, girl all black. And out of a private area. That's right. Your hair will start going white. I gotta drive the big flying NEW bus. Cause we got flying cars now. Let me tell you about the old days when we didn't have them flying cars. Big, tall, two big tufts of gray, white hair on the side of his head. Big tuft on his chin. Let me tell you about the old days. I used to drive the NEW when we drove on the street. Now they got the flying cars and I'm still hitting crap. Hey, Earl. <laughs> when Ant and I are, are, long, are long gone, will you be telling stories about us? I'm an old man. You guys know. I remember our year was, what, 1990. <laughs> Let me tell you, back in 1900. <laughs> Shut up, boy, I'm talking. I still can't understand why I was so mad. It was something to do with somewhat of a situation I can't really talk about. That's why I'm still here. <laughs> Flying cars, and I'm still late to sticker stuff. Can't find it from 20,000 feet there. With radar and all kinds of this. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you back. Guys. Call me Black Earl, but I'm getting a little ashy. Earl, I almost got I almost got you a Christmas present. <laughs> almost, jeez. So so you can hang uh, the the pictures better. Is that, uh, uh, anyone else see the new gadget on TV? Oh, is that the suction cup device? No, the thing where you don't even have to like hold the nail anymore. Ah, what? The super hammer. The super, the super hammer. hammer. I was gonna get Earl the super hammer. I almost ordered it too. Stop. Uh -huh. all, I guess you fill the, the handle of the super hammer with nails. Right. So now you don't even have to, like, you know, hold the nail and go bang, bang, How bang. Does it, what size nails? Uh, Little brads or what? Uh, relatively no, small ones, but normal medium. medium. It's actually called, remember, Cynthia had to write it down. It's yeah. the auto hammer. The auto, auto hammer. hammer. Yeah.
man, this would be perfect for Earl. It would cut his picture uh, hanging time in half. Down to a week. <laughs> and again, I was hanging pictures back in the old days before we had the uh, super hammer. Uh-oh, someone's going to tell us that bling bling and ice are two different things. Bling bling's like gold, right? And ice is diamonds. Uh, yeah. Bling bling. What you want on this wall? Larry, what's up? Back in the days when we had walls, now it's like a force field. All right. Stuff just stick to it. <laughs> Larry. Yeah. Let's hey, go. Don't take me a week. I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah, I want to tell you about the gold. The gold, the bling bling is the gold. Yeah. And inside the gold is the diamonds, which is the ice. Ah. So you that's, that's so, that. so if you're a true brother, you need the bling bling and the ice. Correct. All right. Very good. Thank you. Okay, you guys have a great day. All right, man. Be cool. Bye. I'm still trying to get the Black Rock Coalition show on here at W N W. Where are the white women at? <laughs> Andrew. How you doing? All right. Hey, I figured uh, Earl would be happy since he's the only black guy at the station again. Waddle doodle. <laughs> Waddle doodle. Well, that, that probably yeah, that probably gave you a little job security, right? Are you kidding me? No. Job security around here. What the hell is that about? All right, Except for Earl. That's right. Someone uh, is on the line. They said they got the auto hammer and it sucked. All those things suck. Oh, man. This has got to be the biggest whip. Nobody buy this crap. <laughs> what happened with your auto hammer? The, 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 oh, the goddamn nails, they don't come out. It never sticks to the freaking tip of the hammer. I got so frustrated, I flung the damn thing and I, I broke the... One of the glass doors on my china closet. <laughs> I suck, man. Don't you hate when you're pissed suck. and you throw something and ruin something uh, that you really care about? Yeah, and it was the beveled glass. So the at one yeah. like, two foot piece of glass cost me like three hundred fifty dollars. Hey, what about what about that other uh, gadget, that mouse sander thing? What is that a piece of crap? What, what what is it called though? It's like a miniature sander. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's called. Yeah. All right. How about those little shelves that just you put in the corner and press the little thing on the bottom and it stays in the corner? No. How about those ratchet things where you're supposed to remove the strip nuts and all that crap? Yeah. None of those work. Or the suction cup hooks. These are hooks that you hang coats on or pictures or anything. Yeah. And you put it against the wall and you snap the little uh, hook down mm -hmm. and it suction cups to the wall probably for uh, 35 seconds. Yeah, everything <laughs> to make life easier. Meanwhile, it, it causes more aggravation than anything. Yeah. It's like the handy housewife helper. <laughs> the Cramden. Can it carry apple? Oh, well, certainly it can carry apple. Chef in the future. Oh, chef in the guys. future. <laughs> All right, thank you, Tom. You know what I did with a hammer once? Uh, quickly, I had uh, I was putting up a ceiling fan, and when you put up ceiling fans, it's got to be attached to a beam up in the ceiling. It can't just be a light fixture hanging by the sheetrock because they're heavy. So uh, if there's no beam there, you have to put in these metal brackets to span two beams up in your ceiling. The only way to get to it is through the little hole that uh, you're going to hook your electrical uh, stuff up to. Okay. So to install this, they give you this metal bar. It's like this little metal bar. And you're supposed to put that up in the hole with your hammer, hit the metal bar to drive this uh, 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 metal device into the beams on either side. I'm trying to hit this thing. Now, I was right over our living room table, which is a glass top table. I go, this is stupid. <laughs> I said to myself, this is stupid. So I drag the table all the way over to the other side of the room so it's not directly under where I'm working. I'm hitting this metal thing to try to drive the bracket into the stud. I hit it, it flies out of my hand. Opie, where does it land? Um, in the middle of the glass table. Yes. I Wiley e. Coyote style. It it flew out of my hand, went ten feet across the room and smashed the glass table. I had I'm standing on the ladder just going, Thank you you ever get so pissed that you're laughing? I can't believe it. but that's why I moved it. But why did you do that? Because that's why I moved it. <laughs> I was so pissed. All right. Uh, we got to take a break, right, Ant? Yeah. 212-757-1027. Uh, real fast, Mike, what's going on? Hey, I can only hear you guys. What's up? You're on the air. Hey, man. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Uh, you yes. too. And, uh, Opie, it's a good thing you stick up for Rick, man. It's a good thing. Well, I'm not stupid. I want to get laid again. All right, well, listen. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> Ring that bell. Woo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if Rick goes, you're going to have a lot of black girls on your hand. I'll tell you that. All right. Thank you. All right, you guys have a good New Year, man. <laughs> All right, bye. See you later.
told you we don't have sex. No, I think people understand where that's coming from, hopefully. <laughs> After Anthony hit the bar, he hit the bar. <laughs> yes, that's true. I packed up and popped a beer. It broke my table. Where's my beer? All right. <laughs> we want to uh, discuss other things that happened since we've been gone, Anthony. Sure. A lot of stuff. We got audio from the CNN story. That was pretty huge. Yeah, the uh, CNN crew that was on the Voyeur bus. Uh, we had to say goodbye to a fidget. Ah, the most famous fidget of them all. Billy Barty. Hey. TV marathons. Yeah, that's how I spent my entire vacation, watching those uh, TV marathons, Star Trek, Twilight Zone, Honeymoon. Honeymooners. Can it Corey Apple? <laughs> ah, that must be for spearfishing. Do the line, clear the table, then clear the field. Some men are going to do some drinking. <laughs> you got pitch pack? You got pitch pack? Hey, Ralph, you mind if I smoke? No, I don't care if you burn. <laughs> <laughs> All of the great ones. All right, we'll be back. Well, there's radio. There's edgy.